Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Stark for Us. There are still two more trading days until Thanksgiving, but things are already slowing down on Wall Street. Stocks slid during a low volume session Monday as investors weighed new COVID development out of China, remarks from a Fed official. And this news sudden CEO change. Tuesday brings a little more action, although it probably won't be enough for pre-Turkey Day. Federal Reserve had made some progress in its fight against inflation, but it's too early to stop rate hikes. They have more work to do because they need to see the inflation really on a sustainable downward path back to 2%. So investors and Fed watchers expect the central bank's policy makers to increase rate again in December. But this time, just half a percentage point. Okay guys, let me review the indices and here is the SPY, S&P 500 ETF. As I said last week, it reached to the support area around 390 and it bounced from that support. As long as SPY trading above this support, it has a chance to see the top of the channel again around 405. Some analysis talking about the Santa rally. So in that case, this area around 430 is a resistance and then we have this level around 450. And here is the NASDAQ chart. NASDAQ trading on the support line right now around 11,000. If it couldn't bounce from this support today, the next support could be around 10,600. Right now the pre-market is a slightly positive so probably we could close this week with some green candles. Also US oil already broke this uptrend line in this area around $88. And yesterday for the second time it reacted to the support area around $77. If it couldn't hold this support, the next support could be around $65. But if it could bounce from this support around $77, it could make a W pattern and in that case it could go up to this area around $100 again. But I believe due to slowing down the economies, the demand for the crude oil will going down and probably we will see $65. Okay guys, let me review the cryptocurrencies and here is the Bitcoin chart. Bitcoin went down again and touched the support area again around 15,600. So let me see where is the next support area. In this area around 15,000 we have a good support and then the next support could be around 12,000. But probably from this area it could bounce temporarily. And here is the Ethereum chart. Ethereum reached to this support area again. And if it couldn't bounce from this support, the next support could be around $1,000. As I said last week, Ethereum and Bitcoin could correct it from the top of the chart for more than 85%. 
So don't surprise if you see $10,000 for Bitcoin and $700 or $600 for Ethereum. Okay guys, I reviewed the market and the cryptocurrencies. Wish you a very good day and see you next time. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.